Um, we're in Joshua Tree Inn in the room that Grand Parson died. And Ma the reason we're here is because Mommy is making a book based on him. And we're going to try to videotape and see if we can get him. Because the room is supposed to be haunted. Because the room is supposed to be haunted. <laughs> so this is the room. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of become this tribute to Graham. So we have uh, pictures of him over the bed. Um, this is not the original furniture from uh, when he was uh, here, but it is, the mirror is original to the room and supposedly was here when Graham stayed. I'm assuming the bathroom has not been changed uh, much, it's been updated a little bit. Sam has brought his night vision goggles uh, in hopes of catching something on videotape. I we, actually have already. He did um, see uh, maybe an you want to tell him what you saw? I saw a face on the bed. On the bed uh, through the night vision goggles. Um, have you seen or felt anything else yet? Yeah, I felt some, I felt energy go through me. Um, yeah, not long after we got in the room, Sam said he felt some energy go through him. I actually got some chill bumps myself go all the way up my left side at one point. So we're going to see if we feel anything else and we're going to take some more pictures. Uh, over here, they've got a CD player that you can listen to, um, a bunch of CDs, a Graham um, compilation CD somebody has made. They've got a guest book here that people have written in, and I actually really like this one, so I'm going to read it out loud. It says, listen to Sin City and Hot Burrito Number 1 and other gems as the room glowed with Graham's amazing voice. Wished I had a nudie suit to wear as I stayed in this historic room. We had the time of our lives connecting to his presence. Though I was hoping to see the mirror move or see an apparition, I was instead rejuvenated by his majestic voice. So there really is kind of this fantastic creative energy in the room that I wasn't expecting. And that's been exciting. Um, see, I'll show you. <laughs> he is ready. You. Yeah. yeah, it's a window. Uh, so this is the bathroom. Um, and uh, the shower, which uh, according to Graham um, mythology here, he was briefly revived in the shower but then passed away unfortunately anyway but this is the room and if we see or hear anything tonight we will definitely report back Ooh. so it is the next day and we have left uh, Joshua Tree and we're back in Los Angeles so did we see any ghosts last night well, we didn't really. Well, yeah. Well, we did see ghosts. We did. Yeah. The faces, like the face on the bed, the face on the doors. We did see something through the camera. That's true. We think we got a picture of something. Do you have anything else you want to share? Um. Whenever we first got into the room, whenever I got on the bed, I felt like. Um, a type of force go through me. Yeah. What about during the night? Well, during the night, Mommy heard a, um, a woman's voice, not a man's, and it said, hello. So, in the middle of the night, a couple of different things happened. First, uh, not long after I went to sleep, um, there was a voice that woke me up. It just said hello, and, uh, it was coming from behind me, next to me on the, um, I was on the bed, it came from the floor, but just a, just a few inches away from where I was laying. Uh, it scared me. I jumped up out of the bed and looked around. Of course, nobody was there. And, uh, we had fallen asleep with the lamp on, um, but I went ahead and turned the TV on just, uh, for some extra company, and then I went back to sleep. Later in the night, I woke up again. Something woke me up. I don't know what it was. 
But when I opened my eyes, there was this kind of smoky white light, and I could see it in the closet area. And it bounced around a little bit, then shot to the other side of the room where it hovered for a, a moment and then disappeared. The reason I was able to see that light is because both the television and the lamp had gone out. And even though I'd fallen asleep with the remote between us, it had somehow moved and was on the nightstand. Uh, we took a couple of pictures and used the um, night uh, camera option, the zoom thing, uh, night vision, there we go, I got it, and thought we saw some things in the room, but it was kind of hard to tell. At any rate, it was really interesting experience. Um, there's definitely something special about the area. We're a little disappointed that we didn't get to see or talk to a ghost, but I still feel like we picked up on something. So, overall, good experience. Would do it again.